Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Bow has a candy kid coming at you here. Um, so I've basically uploaded two videos uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, and they are pretty much done and edited. They're just some quick videos. Um, one of them is about a light box that I built at home out of cardboard box. It's basically to take uh, photos of like objects um and stuff like that and the other one is just like a one about tripods and lights it's it's, it's very simple uh i'll go more in depth in uh to that subject um but i am working on a project um i already filmed it i actually have to edit it uh, i have to edit the project and uh it's an interview that i did another interview uh, with another local vape shop here in town so stay tuned for that, and uh, from there, I'm going to be interviewing other local shops around here, um, small businesses and stuff like that, and uh, so that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I, wa I want to say something here. Let's see. Okay. Today, I was um, looking at some of my older videos from years past uh, starting with like the very first video on this channel now I want to say this I have another channel I just can't remember I can't remember the password to it there's only one video on there and it's with uh, let me see if I can find it the uh, the video was made using um, this camera right here which is it's a Kodak Easy Share DX7440, uh, you know, and it has an internal microphone. It has uh, five times op optical zoom and stuff like that. It has photo and video capabilities, and it was just I I didn't I didn't have any equipment at the time, none whatsoever. Uh, that's the only camera I had. Um. And I set it up top my speakers, which this camera that I'm using now, my DSLR, is set up top of speakers. Uh, atop of, it's set on top of one of my speakers, except it's on a tripod. Um, basically, essentially, uh, something like this. So the, the old camera, I, I just... I didn't have much equipment. Um, I didn't have anything. As a matter of fact, there was a tripod that, which I which I got now, one of my parents' tripods, and I I didn't even think about like grabbing that tripod. I was I thought my parents didn't have that anymore. Um, so that that channel is just there. Only one video. That video probably has like probably two views and one like. I don't really care. Um, so I created this channel. <coughs> so I created this channel. And I started like remembering the password. I started saving it. And I, you know, I started getting into it more. So I recently started uh, looking at some of my old videos. And today I, you know, I looked at some of them again. Just to see how far I've come. Okay. Uh, in terms of like the progression I've made and making videos, uh, the progression I've made, uh, in the audio quality, the video quality, like, like what type of cameras I use, um, and the setup and the, and the light, you know, quality, the visuals and just the overall like formats of the videos and how I went about making videos and my setups too. And also it just came in my head. Um, my video editing skills. Now, I'm no professional. This is not this is not a profession of mine. This is not something I do to make money. This is something I do on my own time. Okay. Um, I used to work at a gas station. I no longer work there. Uh, just life moves forward. And is this something I want to do to make money? Yeah. For sure, I, I want to build a business. I want to sell T-shirts with my own logos on it. Um, not like everyone else who 
they do t-shirts and like they're in their videos they say all right buy my merch this and that i don't want to be those people my t-shirts with my logos like the t-shirts i want to you know sell with my logos on it are just so i can live whether you buy it or not i don't care like you don't have to buy my t-shirts if you buy my t-shirts great you support me and you're supporting yourself because some of my t-shirts are going to have really cool logos that you're going to like that actually are about you and they're about god so essentially i i saw that i've been growing yeah i still make some videos like how people used to make videos in 2008 great i i like it there's a lot of people returning to that you know they, they don't want to do a lot of editing. They don't want to make videos uh, every single day. They don't want to post every single day. They want to make good quality content that humans will enjoy forever. Not this content that just gets instant gratification. You know, it's just it caters to the instant gratification or just caters to uh, the quick happiness. No. There are reasons why I post here and there. But now I'm starting to pick up speed. You know, now I'm starting to get things rolling. Uh, so, what I've noticed in myself is I've acquired a lot of equipment. I've, I bought all my equipment. None of the equipment that I own has been given to me. When I say none, except for one. Okay. None except for one. This Rode Video Micro was given to me by Marcus Pix. Now, it was just a, a raffle giveaway. There were probably a thousand people who went in that raffle, you know, giveaway. And I happened to win that microphone. Because that's the one, you know, that I selected out of the hundred microphones that he was giving away. But the rest of the stuff, I bought on my own. I, I worked hard for it and I paid cash for it. You know, uh, and so no, none of this, you know, except for the road video, Michael, was given to me by any of the companies. So this is all built by myself. And this is not an American dream. This is not, um, you know, whatever dream you want to call it. This is me, a hardworking man, building up his own life, gathering his own things that he needs for making videos and stuff like that. Like, I have a gimbal. I have two of them. I have uh, tripods. I have a couple cameras. You know, I have my lights that I need. Um, I have all the, you know, uh, I said tripods, but I, I, I have the softwares I need. You know, they're they're all free. I don't I don't pay for softwares. Uh, Music software, yeah, okay, I got Fruity Loops, I got, you know, I paid for that. But other softwares, like video editing softwares, uh, photo editing softwares, I use GIMP, and I use a Shotcut. I don't pay, you know, uh, money for softwares like that. You can get free ones, they work just as good as the other ones. And they get frequently updated. They get more updated than the other ones, actually. OBS, Open Broadcast, Open broadcasting software it's the best in the world i don't know why people would use any others i mean i have uh what is it x x cam let's see it's not even up here but i have one called vcam x whatever and you can change your background as you're filming and make it look like you're in an island location or a cave or a castle but and, and, and part of it you have to pay for. Like there is a part where you subscribe to it. They give you the pro features and all that. But the basic features you can still use them. And I used it for a while just to goof around with it. But other than that, I don't pay for much else. Except for my equipment. I use my microphones, my headphones. I'm going to do a review video of the newest uh, headphones I got. Now, I'm a... I'm a big supporter of M Audio products. I have one of their old keyboards, the Oxium 25. I have a couple of their speakers. Uh, they're $100 speakers, you know, $100 a piece. But I recently got uh, some of their headphones. Now I'm going to do a review of them uh, soon. And the headphones were like 30 bucks, And 
they you can plug them into your computer you can plug them into your keyboard uh, it takes the 3.5 millimeter jack it has that at the end okay and it also has the fat one um, let's see can I show it I have it around here somewhere uh, this cable okay it's fat doozy so basically you know how I go about my stuff how I go about doing what I'm doing is, you know what? I don't want people to give me stuff. You know, like sponsorships and and I don't want companies to come to me and say, hey, would you review our products and, and say something nice about it? I, I don't want that. In the case of Marcus Picks, if he's, you know, a generous guy and he's like, hey, sign up for this raffle, you you know, see if you win type of deal, that's fine. It's It's his own choice you know, to give away things, and sure, I'll, I'll take a gander at it, I didn't think I was going to win, well, I was like, you know what, I might get something, I might get the cheap microphone, because, I don't know, I just have a hunch that I'll get the cheap one, and not the expensive one, and I only went for the cheap one, it's $50, the Rode Video Micro, and then on the other side, I was kind of like, yeah, but you know what, nah, I mean, when's the last time I won a raffle? When's the last time I won something? Then one day I came home, there was a box, you know, and bam. I I, I, for, I had totally forgotten that I even did the raffle. And I was like, wow, I won it. All right, sweet. And I use it just as well as I use the one that I purchased myself. I bef Before the Rode Video Micro, I actually bought this Boya microphone. It's the uh, Boya BYMM1. It's this, it's, it's, basically a shotgun mic, uh, just like the Rhodes. This is not its original uh, uh, holder. Uh, this is the Rode Video Micros holder. The Boya one broke. It's just a hard plastic one, and one day I was filming with a, an old buddy of mine, and the wind knocked it over, and the plastic part uh, came off. So, you know, um, I need to buy two more of those, actually. Um, I might buy another one of these, you know, flimsy, like these... Uh, road ones that don't uh, break or I might buy a set of the hard plastic ones again because you can buy two of them for I think like like 15 bucks or something on Amazon or eBay or whatever but essentially I've acquired all my things myself you know I'm building my own stuff yeah oh that you know what I just remembered Someone gave me another microphone. I actually have a Blue Yeti uh, microphone, a desk one, that one of my uh, f guys gave me, one of my friends. He's a mechanic. And one day he, he tells me, he goes, hey, I got something for you that you're going to really like. Come and pick it up at my shop. I, I, I think you're going to make use of it. And I come to his shop and he goes, I got this old microphone here. I don't know if it'll work. And it, it was a Blue Yeti microphone. It was the, uh, the uh, it's a black one, round, round ball. You know, it must be one of their like early, you know, early ones. And I was like, wow, thank you, you know, I appreciate it. You know, I wasn't expecting him to give me anything. I was, actually, I was expecting him maybe to give me like a t-shirt of his company or whatever because we're friends and stuff and I know all those guys out there in Temecula, that whole strip of auto mechanics, I know them all. So, yeah, I'm glad that I remembered that. So basically, the Rode Video Micro and the uh, Blue Yeti uh, microphone uh, those are the ones that were given to me by other people, but the rest of the stuff, uh, with the, ex uh, oh, I, you know what, this camera was given to me by my dad, this was my dad's camera, my other dad's camera, so there's a few things that were given to me, so not everything I bought, but there's a big majority of it that I bought, uh, mo mo the, the things that I mostly got for free was this old camera, uh, the Rode Video Micro and the Blue Yeti uh, microphone that's over here and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, I bought everything else. And, and, and I feel an accomplishment. I feel accomplished, you know, when I do a video. I feel something inside of me uh, that sometimes is hard to explain. Um, am I still filming? Okay. So, yeah. I, I just, you know, I feel great. Um, 
Am I going to acquire any more gear? You know, there's a lot of people that say uh, this can get expensive. But you know what? Let me tell you something. Okay? You see this microphone that I'm holding right now? You can still buy this microphone off of Amazon. They make thousands of these. The thing that recently just broke on me... Um, actually, where's my... Uh, I guess I guess the other one is not up here. The thing that recently just broke on this microphone was the uh, foam windscreen. I was putting it on one day, and I was like kind of tugging on it, you know, kind of pulling it down. And the top portion, okay, it just uh, ripped. And I was bummed because it's a really good windscreen, the one that comes with it. So I said, you know, I'm just going to buy another one. They're readily cheap. You know, they're everywhere. You know, they're cheap. They're everywhere. They're readily available. So I found a set of two for the price of of like uh, one that's a little bit bigger than this um, and stuff like that. Or, you know what? I don't remember what the price was. Hold on. I can actually check right now. I can actually tell you right now if you're curious. Oh, you know what? Right here. All right, the price. Wow. Are you kidding? That's so. I paid. I think I paid six ninety nine for them, but they just went down to three ninety nine. So literally, you can get two of these for three ninety nine, um, or you can get yeah. And sometimes there's a set of three, and then sometimes for like for like these type of microphones, like the Rode Video Micro and the Boya microphone, you know, shotgun mics, uh, you could uh, get like a pack of them, like maybe a pack of six or five or whatever. Because I see there's some some other listings for these type of microphones where you can get a pack of them. Um, but basically, um, so I, I, you know, got some new uh, uh, foam pieces for this mic, and this microphone here is an is a shotgun mic, and it's a very good mic. As a matter of fact, it has three modes. So there's the mode where you just turn it off. Okay, it takes a battery. You put a double A battery in here, um, and then it has a mode where, you know, I'm holding it right now and. It's just like a normal mode. So it, it like goes in this direction all around. And then it has a tele mode where it's, you know, just the shotgun mode. You have to hold it like this, you know, in front of your face, uh, you know, or put it on the camera and, and then have it facing you. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this, this microphone, I, I want to get another one. Oh, the other thing that broke on this microphone is the, so it, it has a little plastic holder like this. I can put it through this holder, but um, because it's flimsy, it'll like knock it down, you know, and stuff like that. So the plastic one that came with the, this microphone broke, so I have to go buy another one. And I could probably find a set of two for, for five bucks or two dollars, whatever. So things are moving along. Things are moving forward. Uh, my last video that I just did uh, with the, the first vape shop, the first vape shop that I uh, interviewed uh, did very well Oof. within just like three days, four days. I got so many views. Yeah, sure. There's videos out on this planet that in one day they get a billion views, but I could care less. You know, as long as I'm getting some views and things are going steady and I'm going forward, it's all that matters. Yeah, I'm going to have trials and tribulations. I'm going to have ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. There may be videos that I'll probably have zero views, zero likes, and then videos that I get a billion views and a billion likes. Hey, you know? So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Um, anything else? Oof. Well, hey, I'll, 
I'll finish off with this. Going forward, I'm going to start doing more short films because I want to get into the short film industry, but more or less the indie short film industry where people do things at home, you know, uh, it could be a one-man show, it could just be me, or it could be me and like two other people, you know, the three of us. Um, am I going to get into like photography, like photograph like people and, and the objects and stuff like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working towards that. You know, I still got to learn how to use lighting properly and how to, you know, set up my camera and set up the object properly. That's why I built my own light box, uh, you know, to practice and stuff like that. But yeah, so... Um, those are things that I'm going to be doing going forward. Um, so I, I hope you enjoy my content just as much as I love making it because this stuff is fun for me. Um, I've, I've always loved this stuff since I was a kid. I mean, I was born in the age of uh, VHS, uh, you know, videos and, and uh, DVDs and tape players and CDs, uh, floppy disk, uh, even MP3 players and USB, uh, you know, sticks and whatnot, uh, and micro USB. So I, I love, I love all this, video and photo. I love it just as much as I love making music, just as love, just as much as I love, you know, video games and cars and a lot of other things. So alrighty, alrighty then. Um, man, I can't speak today. <laughs> Some of the words there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe and share. And God bless you all on this planet. You're going to need God going forward. Please make the world a better place and do it through God. Don't do it through the church or through your school a teacher or your politician unless they are doing it through God. Alrighty, that's it. I leave you to it. Go out there and produce some videos. Go out there and make it happen. Peace.